What's up everybody? So today is Monday the 6th of June, first day back officially after World's Strongest Man. So I'm going down to do some uh, deadlift training. Uh, Tom has got soccer aid on this weekend, so he's in a different phase of his training, so he's getting more ready for that. We actually will show he's got a little uh, injury on his back as well, which looks pretty wild. Um, Barefoot Shoes sent me these little beasts up, so I'm going to try wearing these today. I think they're the wrong size, but I don't know. <laughs> How's that, how does that look so different? Let's try it. Might be a bit tight. You see, I don't know if you saw a lot of the guys wear them out in the world. Oh, they are a bit tight. A bit snug, but they'll do. They're bare feet, so it's basically like you're just walking without any shoes on. Um, a bit snug. I think I'm a, I should get a size bigger. So yeah, so today I'm going to be doing some deficit deadlifts, some rows, box jumps, different bits and pieces. Yeah, just kind of get back into the swing of things. Again, both Tom and I, we both respond really well to routine, so the sooner we can get back into our routine, the better. Um, we've got a really busy month in June. Don't know if you want to show them the board, Simon, our wee calendar. It's just stowed out, which is good. It's a good thing to be busy. Simon's away to Cyprus tomorrow, abandoning us. So he needs a holiday for some reason. That's what these young people do these days. Oh, I need a holiday. I've been working solid for three years. Hard life, isn't it? Hey guys, that's my shoes on. I'm going to grab a tin of rain. So we'll see you down at the gym. I would be training, but after what straws, man, unfortunately, I got... Yeah? Yeah. So there, there, I got ice burns on the way back from Worlds on the plane. I fell asleep with ice packs contacted on my skin and got very badly burnt. So for the last week, it's just been going to the doctor every day and get them patched up. But they're on the mend now. Hopefully by the end of the week. The only thing is, I just did, I can go to the gym, I can play football, I can do what I want, but it's more just the effort of being sweaty. Um, I don't want to be too sweaty because I can't clean myself properly all over for like till these uh, patches are off, so when I'm down at soccer, it's a constant just playing, wrap up, play, wrap up, I'm like a, I'm like a Christmas present, but yeah, soccer is going to be really good, I can't wait. Um, the only thing is, I never ever wanted to go to the gym after training, uh, sorry, after a competition, but because I can't go, I want to go. So when, when you can't do it, that's when you want to go the most, so that's annoying me right now is I want to train, but it is what it is. Um, three more days till I leave for Soccer Aid. I should I leave on Thursday. The game's on Sunday, half seven on BBC. So tune in and watch me, watch me play. And hopefully by next Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday maybe, I'll be back in the gym properly. Like I said, it's more just for sweat with these. You know, if I start training with these, these are just going to fall off and I have to get them re redressed and I can't be bored of that. They are mending. The first few days I had them, they looked very, very bad. Now they are starting to heal very well, so very, very thankful for that. What's your role today? My role today is just to help Luke. As we said, this is prep for the Shaw Classic. At the Shaw Classic, Brian doesn't want us using figure of eights. So both Tom and I normally use figure of eights, but we've got to use the the normal wrist straps again, so we're going to be back using them. Shouldn't be too much hassle today. I've only got, I'm doing five sets of three deficit, um, up to about 220 kilos, so not super heavy, just getting back into it. So we'll see how that goes. Oh, that feels heavy.
So today we're using uh, the stiff barbell from Mirafit and all the Mirafit calibrator plates. So huge shout out to Mirafit. Thank you so much for your continued support of both Tom and myself. Um, as you can see, it's Mirafit everything here. So to us, they are one of the most affordable companies out there and also one of the best companies. Thank you, Mirafit. We love you. How's the barefoots, bro? Watch this. <coughs> it's like Cobra Kai. Yeah. <laughs> feeling good. What have you been up to since you got back, Tommy? Since I've gotten back, unfortunately, like I said earlier, the burns, um, did that on the plane home, so I went straight to uni when I got in uh, and literally just wrapped up in bandages and stuff since then. With burns, they said, with ice burns as well, they said you have to keep them uh, covered, so yeah, I could go to the gym, I could have done some stuff, but I sweat a lot anyway, so there's no point sweating and having to get them changed all the time. And the first few days they were pretty sore, pretty stingy, there was a lot of infection in one of them just because uh, I didn't get seen obviously 13 hours after it happened, so yeah. But since I've been back, obviously it's been sunny. Just trying to stay out of the sun for, and like I said, not sweat as much because a, a few times I have sweated since I've been back, these uh, breast scenes have been a nightmare. They just keep falling off and hard to get back off on and I have to go to, I have to go to the a &E every two days to get them changed. So, you know, it's just been living at the doctors the last, the last week I've been home. Touch wood, everything's going good. I'm on antibiotics, it's cleaning it up. Uh, hopefully by the end of this week, hopefully after soccer aid, I'll be able to get back into a routine. Um, I told Dan there's not really point training until after soccer aid either. Um, no point getting, you know, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday done in the gym and then I'm going away Thursday to Monday anyway. So Monday night I think is when I start back properly. I'm back on diet today as well. Been too much junk food the last uh, three or four weeks as well. I just want to get my these dressings off and get. Uh, you know, a nice cold shower, get into the hot and cold tubs as well. How about outside of strong man? You been taking Sinead anywhere nice? No, like I said, you know, I can't do nothing really. Um, since it's been so hot, like yes, for example, the weekend here has been very hot and you know, I went a walk with her. <laughs> I took the dogs a massive walk and by the end of it, I had to have my fan and my all these dressings started getting all slip, sweaty, had, they came off, so I had to dry them and re-put them on as best I could. So I'm kind of limited to what I can do with the fact that I could do it, like the nurse said, I can go to the gym, I can do what I want, but obviously with the amount I sweat, I'm trying to stay away. So, it's, you know, I don't want to be going back and forth to the doctors every single day to get these changed, so. But now they're healing up. I'm probably, I might even tomorrow go in and do a wee pump session in the gym, just to get my body, you know, back into the movements. I can't touch any hot and cold stuff, but out the gym, I went, I've been a few drives with Sinead, chilling out with Sinead and just, uh, yeah, doing some stuff in the office and stuff and sorting some sponsorship out, but yeah. After uh, after these dressings come off, I, I sure I'll be enjoying my life. That was deficit deadlifts done. Um, I now have three sets of box jumps, then pendulum rows, Romanian deadlifts, and then something else. So we'll get that done. What's the oh. hardest thing about the first training back? Um, mentally, just kind of because we've been competing out of World Strongest Man. Um, I just, I always feel very weak after the competition as we're starting back, so this is like only 190. Um, it doesn't feel heavy, it just, mentally it just feels, mentally it feels heavier than it should do. Um, I'm just getting back into that routine, so it usually takes a week or two to get back into the, the kind of process. Um, 
Yeah, it's just getting into a routine is probably the hardest thing after World's Strongest Man, I think. You gotta jump higher. <coughs> Try again. <coughs> So that was box jumps, there's three sets of three box jumps. I'm gonna go into some Romanian or stuff like deadlifts. Uh, just 150 kilos, so three sets of eight. So we'll get that done and then pendley rolls after. Do you want to know who should really be playing the soccer head? This guy. And go. How many sets? Three. Guys, I am so tired. I just wish there was something that would give me some energy. Oh, rain, total. Zinga! Wow, I am so energized. That is amazing. I feel like I could run around the world five times. Rain gives you energy. Okay, everybody, barbell work almost finished. Bent over rows, pendly rows, three sets of eight to finish up with a barbell, and then we're on to some accessories. So stay tuned for that, Tom to go somewhere, so just here all by myself, but I've got my bear shoes on and everybody's fond of bear shoes, because you're never alone when you've got a pair of shoes. What's up guys? So since this is our first video back, we want to do a huge, huge giveaway. If this video gets over 200,000 views, we are going to give out, sorry, give away 10,000 and then we'll decide that in the comment generator. So comment below if you want 10,000 and we'll wire it to you, do whatever, postal, however you want it. 
So yeah, let's get this over 200,000 views for your chance to win 10,000. We're just doing three sets of ten uh, banded hamstring curls. With uh, the band, it keeps tension in the hamstrings all the way through the motion. Um, so the time under tension is constant throughout the exercise. Um, I think this is a great one because you can increase it quite dramatically depending on the band you use. So obviously, a thicker band is a higher resistance. I'm just starting off very light just to get some blood back into the hamstrings um, and. You know, our hamstrings are very important for various different strongman exercises, so we need to make sure that we really look after them and make sure the blood uh, keeps getting put through the muscles and, um, and in turn, hopefully, we will stay relatively injury-free. Final exercise of today, um, lap pull-downs. So I've given this as a little extra treat for myself. It's not part of the program, but um, I just want to get a little bit more of a pump on. Uh, I find... You know, a seated lat press, a lat pull down machine really isolates the lats and kind of engages the lats, so just gets a blunt pump, you know. Um, with that kind of, that pump after the end of the session, I feel really good, so that's what this, this week is about for me, is just getting back into that, that place where we're feeling really good. Um, and then a week or two after that, we start to really add the weight on um, and do that, so I think... And I might even throw in a little bit of conditioning, extra conditioning this week as well, just to get over that lethargic feeling. Um, and as the last video, you know, I spoke about the kind of the lull that we feel after competing. So it's all about trying to come out of that as quick as you can um, and try and get back to that competitive athlete mindset. So um, that's what like, doing these little extra exercises for me is all about. It's just getting back into that mindset of of doing whatever it takes to improve um, for the next competition. Oh, last oh, bit for the day, just some core, some stabilizing work. So we've got hollow body holds, um, three sets for 30 second hold. So just gonna do that. Three, two, one, go. Ten. Twenty. Stop. Ten. Twenty. Yep. Two. One, go. Ten. Twenty. Thirty. Oh, good buddy. Go. What's up, guys? Struggle man a lot. It's awesome. <laughs> okay, guys, so that's my session done. Uh, everything felt okay. Uh, I'm just back in the office now. Um, how are you, Tom? Great, my session was good as well. <laughs> I went and made a protein shake. <laughs> that's the first time Tom's made me a protein shake, so maybe you have to win World Strongest Man two times to be able to do that. So. My appreciation. So, feeling good, feeling happy. Hopefully, Tom will mend up soon with his injury. Just yeah. frustrating. Very really frustrating. But we're going to do the next video. We're actually going to do a chat about what Tom's plan is as well. Aren't we? We're going to because people have been asking, are you going to retire? What are you going to do? Um, so we're going to release that uh, very soon. That'll be out this week. And then also we're going to do some recording of you training for soccer aid which will be good fun, so stay tuned for that guys. And just on a side note as well, we just received the new uh, Stoltman merchandise, so there he's basic on the front and then on the back, I really like this, I think this is pretty cool. Um, we've got some quotes and stuff um, from Tom and I, so I think that's pretty cool. And what have you got there, Tom? 
pass them to you. Okay, sir. you pass them to me. So we've got the purple hoodie um, again on the front, the new Stolpen uh, logo, and then on the back. Hopefully, it's spelled right this time. Uh, it's spelled right. You write your own story, so make it unforgettable. So that's pretty cool. I think that's really nice. Actually, I really like that colour. Um, and then finally, we've got some new shorts as well. Um, Dapper. So black with the, the trim at the bottom, they're slightly shorter with the new Stolpen logo. Um, so the the shorts we had before were these ones here, they're a little bit long, so the guys have just taken up a couple of inches and they look really nice, so really excited to launch them. As always guys, thank you so much for the continued support on buying our merchandise. It does mean a lot. Um, we are going to be opening a shop happening in Vergordon hopefully in the next month or so, um, so you guys can come in, we're going to do meet and greets, we're going to do quite a lot here, try and give them regarding a little boost. Um, anyway, as always, thank you for your support, stay safe, smile and stay spicy. And please don't ever stop ringing that little bell. ding a ling a ling Harry. <laughs> <laughs>